This is Duke University. With a hammer and chisel. Simon Verity works the way sculptors did centuries ago. Meticulously carving out each facial feature on the statue, from the eyes to the lips. This uh, sort of thing, which is completely uh, ridiculous nowadays in, in many ways. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to be able to, to make a living out of it for 50 years. During his week as an artist in residence at Duke University, the sculptor recreated a 13th century statue head that was once in the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris and is now part of the National Museum's art collection. I don't want to get down to the details until I've got the whole thing really seeming to have a unity. Duke students and museum staff learned a lot by observing the work of art come to life in mere days. It started off as a, as a large, nondescript, gray block of stone. The interesting thing is that this is quite a difficult piece of stone. If you listen, this is very soft. And it, the, you hit, listen to the pitch and the, a lot higher. Verity left students with a lot more than a new sculpture. It's so much easier to learn when you watch things happen rather than um, trying to reconstruct in your mind, just looking at pictures of tools even, how, how they might be used in the actual process of making. Reporting for Duke University, I'm Julie Schoonmaker. Produced by Duke University.